fight. Should you go for the Far Cry New Dawn Platinum Trophy? Far Cry New Dawn is a follow-up to Far Cry 5 that takes place in the same universe following the events at the end of Far Cry 5. This game pretty much plays out like any other Far Cry game in that you travel across an open world, rescuing and or recruiting animals and humans to team up with, liberating a bunch of outposts, and ultimately defeating a big boss, in this case, two, whom you interact with at the start of the game. There isn't really much else to introduce about this game, other than it is one of the shorter Far Cry games out there, and it also felt like it was a lot easier than the previous versions too. On the way to your Platinum Trophy, you will be doing things such as completing three expeditions with a partner, eliminating five enemies by throwing shields at them, and catching every type of fish in the game. The Collectabilist Award goes to Master Skinner. Collect at least one skin from every type of animal in Hope County. Not creepy at all. That trophy description ain't long at all either. As the description states, you will have to skin all of the animals in the game to pop the trophy. There are 25 different types, and this includes two types of sea creatures, which are the shark and demon fish. As you travel across the land, you will come across road signs that show you which animal is in that location. This also includes the four legendary animals that you need to skin. You will come across the majority of these animals as you play the game naturally, so do try to hunt down as many as you can, so that you do not have to spend a lot of time post-game looking out for the remaining animals. Also, there are a couple of animals that only seem to spawn, or at least have a higher spawn rate, in certain expeditions, like the shark. So do keep that in mind if you are having trouble finding something like this. Also, there are a number of guides out there that show you the locations of all of these animals, so it is good to refer to these if you are really struggling. It took me quite a while to find a bunch of hares, but when I went to a location in one of the guides and hunted one down after a short while, I was super relieved and the trophy popped. The grindiest award goes to Hit the Road. Complete 7 unique expeditions on the rank 3 difficulty. An expedition in the game is where you get taken to an entirely separate, smaller map, and the idea is to extract the bag and be rewarded with a lot of goodies to help you in the main part of the game. There are seven different expeditions, and sadly you will have to play through all three difficulties for each one. You are unable to start at the highest difficulty, meaning you will have to successfully complete 21 extractions to obtain this trophy. My disappointment is immeasurable. The good thing about it, however, is that it is not hard at all, and you are able to rush in from the start, grab the bag, and then wait a few minutes it takes for the helicopter to come in and extract you. Another good thing is that there is a plume of purple smoke that pretty much pinpoints where the bag is on the map, so you are able to collect it within minutes if you choose to do so. Once you complete all 21 expeditions, this trophy will be yours. On to the most annoying award, and this one goes to Pure Ninja. Liberate a rank 3 outpost while staying undetected. Outposts in the game are small encampments scattered throughout the island, and each one starts off by being run by the enemy. The idea is to defeat every enemy at a spot to liberate it. Once you do, it becomes a fast travel spot for you. Another thing you can do is to scavenge it, meaning you get a valuable resource but the highwaymen retake control of the camp. Each time you do it, there will be stronger and more enemies to defeat. Similar to the expeditions, there are three levels to an outpost, and for this trophy, you will have to liberate just one without being detected by a single enemy. 
at level 3, there are a lot of higher leveled enemies, and a super annoying thing is that they seem to be able to spot you a mile away, and super quick too. So even if you're down to one or two enemies and they just happen to spot you, it's game over. One thing that isn't very annoying is that your companion is able to go in and wreck stuff as much as they want, so long as you do not get spotted. This is a pretty weird one, but it does work in your favour, so abuse it as much as you can. You will definitely know you have been spotted as mortar strikes rain down on you and helicopters circle you within a moment's notice. A good thing to do is stay hidden in tall grass while they take out as many people as they can before succumbing to their injuries. Once this happens, revive them if it is safe to do so, or let them bleed out and then call on another companion to do your work. If you do not like this method, a golden bow is a must, as they are able to one-shot anyone that doesn't have a golden health bar. These guys are also known as enforcers, and they have to be taken down up close with a knife in the back. So make sure every other enemy is taken care of before attempting these takedowns, as the enemy seems to be able to spot you as far as the eye can see. Even when I was nowhere near an encampment, I started to get spotted, so do be mindful. Once you finish off the final enemy without being spotted, this one will be yours. So, should you go for the Far Cry New Dawn Platinum Trophy? This game is really straightforward from start to finish, and if you have played any other Far Cry game, maybe besides Primal, then you will definitely know how it plays out. If you have recently played Far Cry 5, then maybe wait a while, or straight up even pass on this. As it is set in the same universe, it feels more like a long DLC than a standalone game. Despite this, I did enjoy my time with this one, and I was able to get the only co-op trophy out of the way, with my 4 year old playing on my PS4. Since this does feel more like a standalone DLC than a full game, this is by far the shortest Far Cry game out there, and I was able to get the Platinum Trophy in about 20 hours or so. It's not hard at all, even on a rank 3 expeditions and outposts, and I was able to breeze through them all, as well as a story in quick fashion. For these reasons, I think you should knock this one out quickly, and go for the Platinum Trophy.